everybody. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here tonight to talk to you about something called essential dogma. I'm going to be talking a little bit about combinatorics, uh, which is something that I study at school. Now, this process may sound a little bit intimidating, but I think that everyone should know about it, seeing as it's really the fundamental process by which all of us are living and breathing here today. When you see an ad, such as this Bud Light ad, you don't process it as a whole stimuli. Instead, your brain works to process several different parts and then integrate those parts into a complete picture. A few hundred years after the Reformation, but the Catholic Church is still a very strong force. And come to say, well, what can we do as religious people? You know that we are honestly religious and not just following a set of rules. I'll just leave these right here in case anyone likes them. Obviously, the red part of this Bud Light ad right here would be perceived by your red cones, which are optimal to 560 nanometer light waves, which is red light. Imagine the eyes being a concave dish. Obviously, this part of the dish right here looks this way. The lateral or temporal part of your eye looks to the left. Your left eye, which is also a dish, this part also looks to your left. So you have the nasal portion of your left eye and the temporal portion of your right eye both receive the left hemisphere. What does this mean, you ask? Well, from the lateral geniculum nucleus, you have the geniculocortical pathways, which take the signals to your primary visual cortex, otherwise known as Broadman's Area 17. Right here, in the back of the brain. Okay, so basically what they thought was they didn't want to go by the superstitions of the previous century, the 17th century, the century before the Enlightenment, we have what we call the scientific revolution. So, Immanuel Kant came along, he was a German, he lived in Germany. The idea of Jesus is almost detrimental to the idea of the Christian religion. Uh, what people just came on, I'm, I'm giving a small lecture on Immanuel Kant and his, uh, his work, Religion with the Boundaries of Mary's, but to continue, the idea of Christ is such as an excuse. What he is really is uh, something that we've created to sort of justify our own sins. Okay, if Jesus is an all perfect being, we can compare ourselves to him and say, okay, it's all right to be said. Now we'll get to that part later. DNA is located in the nucleus of each and every cell in your body. There are over hundreds of thousands of cells in your body and each one contains the information that it takes to make you. I mean, that's a little bit of an insulting uh, concept, you know. I, I think the information it takes to make me, I'm a unique person, should be like off in a vault under lock and key. But it's in every single cell in my body, so I could just, you know, scrape one of my skin cells and clone me. That's that's the case, be it to my liking or not. And the RNA molecule, which in this case is mRNA, will leave the nucleus, go into the cytoplasm, to the endoplasmic trichome. I know these. I'm just throwing terms at you here. You have to bear with me. I would like for this side of the subway right here to please look toward the door over there. Now I'm going to slowly put an object into your field of vision. As I put this object into your field of vision. You're going to notice the shape of the object and the fact that the object is moving before you notice the color of the object. And I'd appreciate it if this side of the car would not look so as not to spoil their turn. This is the 1920s, mind you. The Bauhaus was founded by Walter Gropius in 1929. The uh, premier ideas of the Bauhaus was that form should follow function. But as far as Gropius and his allies were concerned, this should be a recognizable function. Is very free, like uh, Frank Lloyd Wright's work. The entire building is constructed of steel and concrete and glass, and the entire facade is transparent, so you can see what's going on inside. Very cubic. It was constructed by uh, Le Corbusier. He's a Swiss architect. Now, he is not the only architect associated with the uh, international style, but he's our most important one. Modernism to classicism. You can see how he wants to balance out negative and positive spaces. He wants this to be, as he terms it, a machine for living. Does anybody care to know what happens after the stimuli are received in the photoreceptors? Anybody? Okay. Well. Now, I know we all know how to count, but this is just alternative methods of counting different types of things. The uneducated combinatoric student might guess that um, you can just total up the numbers and figure out how they'd be arranged into these four different selections. Now, if one were to do it like that, which we'll see is the incorrect way. The Rubik's Cube was invented by a French mathematician in uh, the 1940s. So if we have three distinct lollipops, 
Hush right lawless. The work you've already done, I repeat, must not be in vain. It must be done so as to ensure that what you've already worked on does not get destroyed. The number of ways that uh, the three distinct polys can go to one person would be four. Now we have nine identical teddies to be distributed among the remaining three. So like we saw before, that's nine plus three minus one, choose nine. If you'll notice, the white face has been completed except for one cube. I leave this one cube open intentionally so that I may work on the rest of the cube. There's something called the Fibonacci series, the sum of the two numbers previous. Cones stand for... Anybody? What? What? Okay. Right! Color! Christ is all good. He's completely holy. He's an idealistic conception of man. Anthropomorphized in a way that we can understand. Rods then connect to your magnocarbular cells. And rods stand for... Come on, everybody! What do rods stand for? I know you know this. We just went over this a few minutes ago. We, the human beings, the one who anthropomorphizes him, not God. We're the ones who create him and give him, give him as an excuse for why we cannot be the way we want to be. Anybody? Rods? That's right. The rods are for motion and light. Thank you very much. This will require a sequence of moves that appears a bit complex. And as you'll notice, it looks like I'm messing up the cube. When in reality, I'm only just beginning to solve it. And there you see, he was been solved. I hope everybody's learned something tonight. God bless you all. God bless you all. I hope you have a good night. God bless you all.